Two things that I have a lot of laying around my house are wood scraps and family photos. So this is the perfect way for me to display both. Here's the materials you'll need. So obviously the main material I need to make this project is wood. And like I said, I have a ton of scraps laying around, but if you don't, you can pick up a standard two by two piece of poplar at any hardware store. So I'll start by cutting these. And you could measure and mark and do all that stuff, but I kind of like just a random width. Bam. The next step is to create the slit that's actually gonna hold the photo. Make your first four or five strokes backwards to create that groove. And then you can start to slowly go back and forth. I'm just gonna saw about a quarter inch deep into the wood. All right, the grooves are cut, so I'm just gonna lightly sand some of the corners. I'm gonna make two different dyes. One's purple, one's blue. You could do any color you want, but just put a little bit of powder. You add the water. I got a little stirring stick here. I'm just gonna make sure pigment is all mixed in. So to create the look that I want, I'm staying nice and shallow with the dye. And depending on how you turn this, that will determine how it soaks up into it as well. I let my block sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, but depending on how saturated you want it, you can leave them in there a little bit longer. Just keep in mind that as these dry out, the dye is still gonna soak into the wood. So I'll let these sit overnight, and then it's as simple as sliding a photo in.